entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Great shooting. Nothing else left in the whole world to play. Do you know what I wish? What? I wish vacation was over. So as we could go back to school. At least we'd have something to do. Maybe I could arrange to open a summer session tag. Oh, hi, Miss Farnsworth. Ah, uh, Tag's just kidding, teacher. He ain't that crazy about school. He isn't that crazy about school, Billy. Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, look at the stage! It's kind of funny upside down. <laughs> hey, mister, this is Diablo. Hey, mister, wake up. Oh, sorry I sleep. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. Oh, my chin. Oh, just swimming. Oh, you are so clumsy of me. Uh, you hurt yourself, nine? Huh? Habe ich dich weh How you say, uh, you are not unhurt, huh? Me? Oh, I'm all right. Gott sei Dank. Do you hear that, Steve? Yeah, the Dutchman. Hey, squarehead. the idea of kicking this little kid around. Of oh, course, you do not understand. I do not want trouble, Mick. I want to be friends with everybody. It's all right, mister. Oh, uh, you tell me, uh, these letters are the same as town we are in? Diablo? Sure, that's where you're all, all right. What you got there, squarehead? Peter? What's uh, mean squarehead you called me? Why, over here, that's what we call people we like. Ah, yeah. Donkey's there. <laughs> Donkey, uh, squarehead. I like <laughs> squarehead. I asked you what you had there. Oh, that's mine rifle. I make. Well, well, let's take a look. Oh, nine, nine, nine. Uh, I just wanted to look. Nine. Is it made of gold or something? Oh, not nine gold. <laughs> but bestest rifle in the whole world. Shoot very far. Oh, yeah. Please, nine. Don't look so special to me. Yeah, inside special. Please, please keep back. Please. Please, please. Let him alone, mister. Oh, please, nine. Nine. Little boy only try help. Oh, Han, sorry to cause trouble. No trouble. That was a pleasure, mister. One of your boys, isn't he, Scrivener? I'm sorry, deputy. I'll see that it doesn't happen again. Do that. I, uh, I, I must find Uncle Fritz's house. Fritz? Yeah. Fritz Steiner? He was my uncle. God rest his soul. Well, you must be Hans Van Bergen. Yeah, that's finished. I inherited gun shop, uh, here. Well, I'm Annie Oakley, and uh, this is Deputy Lofty Craig. Glad to know you. My little brother, Tag. Hi. And his friend, Billy Nelson. I've been happy to meet. We're awfully sorry this had to happen, but we have ways of taking care of men like him. No, please, no. <laughs> oh. 
You scare me. Good shooting, <laughs> sis. Yeah. Oh, it's very good shooting, yeah. But in all country, women do not shut gun. They cook and fix house. Annie can do everything. She's the best cook in the whole world. Tag exaggerates quite a bit, Mr. Van Bergen, but you're certainly welcome to stay for dinner, and we'll take you out to the Steiner Ranch afterwards. Oh, don't care. I am, uh, how you say, uh, dead of salvation. You mean starvation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I accept your hospita hospitality. <laughs> we will be all good, good square heads together. We will. <laughs> yeah, good friend. Oh, Hans must learn so much. All about uh, Judge Washington and uh, uh, Frank uh, Benjamin uh, and all other things, too. <laughs> Miss Farnsworth will teach you. Oh, that's Tag's school teacher. I'll speak to her about you. I like that. Maybe you can show us your rifle, too, huh, Mr. Van Bergen? He's got the best rifle in the whole world, Annie. Oh? Yeah, the bestest rifle in the world. Well, that sounds like quite a gun. I'd like to see it in action. For you, I show. At the end. That gun interests me, Al. Uh, that Dutchman's crazy. It's just another rifle. Maybe. Just the same, I want to see that demonstration. Well, why? What good's another rifle, even if it can shoot further? It's worth plenty. Huh? The who? The U.S. Army. Doesn't look much different than any other rifle. Well, it's all in rifling and in board. Even the shell is different. Yeah, I look like any others, but inside special gunpowder. It's watch. Come with me. You see that post fence with, with, a, with a white on the top? Mm-hmm. I shoot the top. Gosh, I can hardly see it. Yeah, it's impossible. No, not impossible. Just watch. Well, maybe you ought to try a closer target, huh? Oh, his target is fine, but uh, Hans is no good shooter. Oh, I can make gun, all right, but uh, uh, never did learn how to be good shooter. Say, why don't you let Annie shoot it? Good idea. Uh, Uncle Fritz, I me of you. Uh, you crackpot, huh? He <laughs> <laughs> better crack shot, huh? I'm an expert marksman. <laughs> of course, uh, crack shot. Will you forgive me? Oh, forget it, huh? <laughs> you. Now, uh, you shoot my gun and aim at same target. You will see uh, I'm right. I'll try it, Hans. but Hans is the one that deserves the credit. This rifle's unbelievable. You have a patent on that, Hans? Huh? Patent? Yes, Hans. Do you have your invention protected and registered the plan? Oh, well, there's only one. Plants are up here. <laughs> uh, maybe someday, I think when I go to America, maybe I give the uh, rifle to government. Oh, Hans, I'm sure they'll be very happy to look at this. It outshoots anything I've ever seen before. Well, I could contact the proper authorities, Annie. They could send out an army ordnance man to take a look at this rifle. Hello, Mr. Van Bergen. Miss Oakley, deputy. Well, I rode over to apologize to Mr. Van Bergen for what happened in town. Oh, I forget already. It was just misunderstanding. Oh, uh, that the secret weapon? You should have seen it, mister. It was really something. The loft is going to send for government soldier, and uh, Hans is going to give a rifle to, to government. Uh, your generosity is noble, Mr. Van Bergen. 
But the Army can afford to pay a lot for your rifle, if that's all you say it is. Oh, I don't want no money. I only ask for opportunity to stay here and work. This I have. Oh, I'm paid already. More pay than money. Money's pretty important, Mr. Van Bergen. There are a lot of things more important, Mr. Scribner. Yeah. You're all citizenship. Born here. Hans is not even citizenship yet. You lucky man, Herr Scribner. You have many things Dollar cannot buy. I suppose you're right. Well, I better be going. I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Oh, it's no bothering. Hans always liked to talk to people, learn many things. I even go to school tomorrow. Oh? Ah, learn about billings of right, constitutional. I want to be pretty smart when that government soldier come here. Yeah. Good luck then, Mr. Van Bergen. Goodbye. Guten Tag, Herr Stiebner. Guten Tag. What do you think, Annie? I don't know, Lofty. Scribner seems to have gotten mighty neighborly all of a sudden. Yeah, that's the same thought I had. And that rifle's the greatest thing I've ever seen, Al. The army would pay a fortune for it. Well, maybe we can buy it off the Dutchman. He looks stupid enough. Not a chance. He's already made plans to give it to the army. The deputy's sending for a man. Then what are we going to do? And is Johnny Reed still over in Central City? Yeah, as far as I know. And he owes me a favor. I want you to ride over there and get him. Sure, Steve, but what's it all about? And I've got a plan. We're going to take advantage of that Dutchman's love for the red, white, and blue. You see, Mr. Van Bergen, each one of these stars represents one of the United States. Yeah, just like in the song I sing all the time. The broad stars and bright streets through the perilous fight gives proof to the night that the flags are there still. On... <laughs> Hank, I'm sorry. Well, it's just little boy, Fräulein, and Hans know that he cannot sing too good. I think you did very well. And you picked up your lessons much faster than some people I know. Did you read the textbooks I gave you? Oh, the Texan book? Oh, yeah, 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 I read Texan book. Uh, all about Judge Washington and Jans Hancock and uh, Declaration of Dependence and uh, uh, All Nation Indivisible. Indivisible, Hans. Yeah, Indivisible. <laughs> Please, Tag. I'm sorry, Miss Barnesworth. I promise I won't laugh again. All right. But one more time, and out you go. Now then, Mr. Van Bergen, do you remember the president's in order? The president's? Oh, yeah, I think. <laughs> uh, the president. Um, there was uh, Judge Washington. Hello, Mary. Oh. How's the new pupil coming along? Just fine, Annie. Lofty? I was just about to recite the president. To the <laughs> well, we didn't mean to interrupt the lesson, but we thought you'd want to hear the good news, huh? News? What news? The Army's sending an officer out to look at that new gun of yours. He'll be here tomorrow. Oh, uh, will you shoot rifle for me, Annie? And show the uh, government man how it works? I sure will, Hans. It'll be my pleasure. Come on, Lofty. We'd better get back to town. Yeah, we'd better. Before Mary asks me to recite the president. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Van Bergen. Gun. In the old country, many years I worked. But now to the new country, I give. It's a fine piece, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, would you like to see how it shoots now? Oh, that won't be necessary. We'll make exhaustive tests of it when I get back to the post. Besides, Miss Oakley's recommendation is good enough for me. Oh, she's a fine girl. And smart, too. <laughs> she certainly is. And now, with your permission, sir, I'll get started back. My permit? Oh, yeah, you have my permission. On the gun, too. <laughs> yes, sir. And you may take my word for it, sir. Your rifle is in the proper hands. Well, what better hands than the officer of the United States Army? Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's 
good day. Very good day. The shells, um Gottes Willen. Mr. Kapitän! Mr. Kapitän! Mr. Kapitän! Mr. Kapitän, I forgot to give you the shells! I must catch Kapitän. Army will think I fool him. Mr. Kapitän! The rifle will not work good without the special shells! The Kapitän! Hans, what's wrong? Well, it's all right now, Annie. <laughs> I forget to give other officers the shells for the gun. Other officers? Yeah, Captain Reed. I give him gun, but <laughs> bullets I forgot. You mean you gave that gun to somebody else? Yeah. What's wrong? Hans, this is Colonel Jackson, the man the Army sent out to take a look at your rifle. Cannot be. I already gave. You gave your gun to an imposter, sir. I'm the only officer the Army sent out. But he was officer. He has the uniform of United States Army. It cannot be. It cannot be. Hans, please, we'll get your rifle back. Oh, it's stolen from Hans in America. It's better Hans not come to America. It's better he stays where he belongs. Hans, you belong right here, and you're gonna stay here. We'll find the man who stole your rifle. Was he on horseback? Yeah. Well, then we can track him from your ranch. That would take time, Miss Oakley. Time which I'm afraid I can't give you. But, Colonel... I received many requests to look at new weapons, sir. Most of which, I might add, are worthless. Believe me, Colonel, Mr. Van Bergen's rifle can outshoot anything the Army has. Miss Oakley, orders are orders, and my orders are to leave for the port on the afternoon stage. That gives us a little less than two hours, Annie. No use. Rifle is stolen. Maybe it's better if I go with Colonel to town. Maybe books are not right about America. Hans, there's something about Americans that's not in those books you've been reading. Yeah. What is that? They're stubborn. And they don't give up easily. Let's go, Lofty. Charm, Steve. You got the rifle? Right here. Seems kind of funny that something this valuable was so easy to get. Remind us to make a general of you next time, Johnny. <laughs> now we better start riding. We'll go along the creek bed. I want to get to Central City before dark. Me too, Steve. When Annie Oakley finds out what's happened, I want to be a long ways from you. Now let's go. <laughs> Heading for the creek bed, Lofty. Yeah, no telling how far behind him we are. We'll catch up to him sooner or later. Well, it better be sooner, Annie. That Colonel Stage leaves inside an hour. Look, Lofty. Down there.
They've trailed us. Yeah, we can't move past in this creek bed. Give me that Dutchman's rifle. With this, I can pick them off before they can get in the shooting range. Maybe it's broken. We haven't got time to find out. Try to hold them off. Just give me enough time to get out of here with this rifle. Go after Scrivener, Lofty. He's got the rifle. You were smart not to try and outrun me, boys. I had another 50 yards on you with this rifle. never seen anything like it. And to think I was going to leave. What's your opinion, Colonel? I'm sure the United States government will purchase this weapon. Ach, nein. We'll not sell that. No, not sell. No, sir. But I give it to you. For no money. Well, that's very generous of you, Mr. Van Bergen, but I assure you the government expects to pay for your invention. Why? I was paid already, Colonel. Hans is the richest man in the whole world. And I'm so sorry what I say about leaving America. Soon I will be citizen. I'm being teached by the bestest teacher of the USA. <laughs> I learned about America so much. I have job, I have friends who are all fine squareheads. That's what makes Hunt rich, very rich. The government will be most grateful, Mr. Van Bergen. I assume you have plans for the gun. All oh, plans go on paper, but Rifle will go to my best friend, Annie Oakley. Then if you'll just put your John Hancock on this paper, Mr. Van Bergen. John Hancock? That's not right. Uh, that Hancock fellow, he's died a long time ago. It, <laughs> it, it wouldn't be right to put his name on the paper. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that would make me a counterfeit. <laughs> <laughs> Is something funny? The Colonel only meant for you to sign your own name, Hans. Saying John Hancock is just an expression we use. Oh, of course. I'm so stupid sometimes. Uh, I have to learn so much yet. Of course I put my Hans Hancock on the paper. Of course. <laughs> 